We're back. This is the Full Squad Gaming Tour of America, powered by Energizer. And boys, just like Energizer, we are still going. We got Josh, we got Mike, I'm Ben. And boys, today we are more energized than I think we maybe have ever been because we probably have the biggest guest that we've ever had, the greatest guest we've ever had. He's a DJ, he's a rapper, he's a business mogul. He's probably one of the best athletes, if not the best athlete of all athletes of all time. Fellas, our guest today is... Shaquille Welcome back to the Squad Test. Time out. What's up? That's not the same voice you had in the trailer. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, last time we were together. Yeah, so, so, so now that you got all these views, you come with a Hollywood voice. <laughs> No, we scaled it up. Redo the intro and just bring it down a notch. Okay, go. Hey, everybody. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. How we doing, man? Good I'm to see doing, you. I'm doing good. How are you? Chilling. Yeah, we, we got a nice house just for you. We got cookies and stuff. I don't know if you got one yet. We'll have to make sure you get one. Shaq, you know, we've had a year or year and like two weeks, I think, to the day since we last saw you. Last time we saw you, we had a paintball gun. We did some crazy challenges. We actually have a couple coming up. Uh, but we want to start off with a couple segments today. You want to hit that? Uh, first, but first, I did want to ask you about the 2K cover because you are a historic 2K athlete. You've been on several 2Ks, but now 2K24, Kobe's the athlete. What are, you, what are your thoughts on that? Man, I wish he was here to celebrate with us. Uh, it only makes sense. He's probably the best number 24 in all of sports, but it'd be better if he was here to celebrate with us. Amen. That's right. 100%. So also, we are a gaming company, so 2K is a big part of our brand. Lots of videos that do super well. So obviously, you have one of the greatest 2K ratings of all time. And we want to do a little segment. Can you put some bass in your voice when you talk to put me? Put some bass in my voice? Yes. Yeah, okay, I'll try my best. All right, yeah, let's all right. Go. Oh, all right, we got some- we Flamed. Got some no, no. Ch you know what, just pause, all right. No, chest out. Okay, now, out. now talk. All right, all right. So, yeah, yeah, there you go. So two, it's 2K. Yeah. 2K, all right, so- Obviously, there's stats in 2K, many different attributes. We're gonna have you guess your top attributes. You down with that? It's one out of one through 99. Oh, I'm a 99. No, no I'll, I'll read individual attributes. Okay, got it. This is your this is your best. This year is your best Lakers. card of all time. Yeah. Okay. All right, three point shooting. 55. 55. Yeah. 26. Okay. That's pretty low. Okay. Yeah. What about dunking? Oh, 99. Yes, sir. Uh, 99. On the dot. Yeah, 99. Break the backboard, baby. All right. Um, blocking. Oh, 99. 98. Oh! <laughs> that's wrong! Oh, dirty. Dirty. 2K. They're harsh with that one. All right. Ball handling. Oh, uh, 75. 75? Yeah. 69. Last one. Free throw. Oh, zero. Zero? Yeah. Now they gave you a 62. Oh, not bad. That's 62, not bad. Yeah, and then your bad. overall. What is your overall rating? Oh, 9,900. They, they did you dirty. 98. They did you dirty. Didn't I have like the highest rating ever though? 100 one time? Maybe in previous games, but this is 2K24 they gave you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh okay, so it changes every year. It, cha it can change. Oh, this oh, is their Lakers squad. They okay, have. got it. This is your highest rated Lakers. 98, that's not good enough. I uh, know. I agree. Yeah. Do you ever play as yourself on 2K? I used to. get bored? But I haven't played in a while. But uh, last time I played was a couple weeks ago, yeah. But I actually, I like to be somebody that I'm not. I'm Steph Curry. In NBA 2K4, I'm Steph Curry. That's sweet. So, yeah. You just ripping half court shots from the logo? Every time I touch it, I just shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> we hitting greens or what? Draws. All Let's draws. Go. And also, like, Twitter's always going off and saying, like, you know, comparing the all time greats like yourself to the, to the current guys. Will you ever, like, put yourself in 2K and just slam dunk on some of the new guys? Well, not only in, in Twitterverse or 2K, but in real life. Oh. There we yeah, go. Like, like all, like all the new guys know that I'm, I'm one conversation that they don't want me involved in. Do you want to call anybody out specifically? No, I, I don't have to because I am the Lord Supreme of all big men. So <laughs> until somebody, you heard that. <laughs> until somebody does what I've done, I, I can't be replaced. I'd like to congratulate the the new member of the Big Man Alliance, Nikola Jokic. He's a member of the Big Man Alliance, but I am the. I'm the Dundada, the Lord Supreme of all big men. Again, I'm I'm one conversation they don't want to, you know, they every now and then, oh, he would have did, he would have took him outside, but they don't want me in that conversation. Will Chamberlain has this famous quote. Uh, he said that if he was put in modern NBA, this is when he was alive, he, had, he said he dropped 50, and that was at his age at that point after he'd been retired for years. 
If you were dropped in today's NBA, how do you think you'd do? What would your points per game be? My age now or? Yeah, right now. At 50? Yeah. Oh, I'd be terrible. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but if I was young Shaq playing yeah. in this era, I'd 60. Without 60? free throws, easily, yeah. Really? Yeah, because these guys are buttercups. <laughs> Why do you think? Why do you think they're buttercups now? Because everybody does the same thing. And what's always made me different is I'm different. So let's just say I'm playing against a guy and he stretches me out and he shoots a three. I'm going to make sure I have another guy that's on my team that can rebound us. So while you're shooting a three, I'm going to run by you. If you make it good, but now you're going to have to get back and try to defend me. And I guarantee you're going to be in foul trouble more than you are comfortably shooting three. So you, while you're shooting the three, I'm going to run back and I'm going to just post up in the lane and I'm going to get two. And I'm guaranteeing you I'm going to hit more twos than you hit threes because all of the other greats have tried to take me out. So, oh, let's get them out the paint. But remember, you got to defend me too. It's not like you score, I'm out the game. Okay, you score, good shot, but now I got to score. So I wouldn't be out there shooting threes just to be shooting. So on Jokic, Embiid? Yeah, all those guys, yeah. Like they, they could shoot threes and take me outside, but... Mm -hmm. But what you gonna do on the other end? And then I'm guaranteeing that they would have to double because if they don't double, they're gonna get in foul trouble. And that's the difference, and that's what people forget in the conversation. Like they always say, "Oh, we'll take them outside." Okay, but if you're only shooting 40% from three, that means you're gonna miss a lot. And then another factor that they don't factor in is when you guard a guy like me in the fourth quarter, your lower extremities will be tired. Trust me. And and those threes, and, and especially if you're in foul trouble, you don't have the rhythm and tired, lower extremities, your shot's not going to be falling. So that's that's the difference. And that's why I say that. And they don't like physicality. Yeah, watch the lower extremities. Yes. Watch I don't know how to those. spell it, but I know how to say it. And obviously, like, basketball is, like, one of the most difficult sports, no doubt. But, like, in your opinion, like, what is the hardest sport out of all the sports out there? I'm probably going with UFC. UFC. Yeah, UFC. And, and there's a new one, bare knuckle. Yeah. Yeah. But those, like... Those are probably some, and hockey. We had a UFC Hall of Famer, Forrest Griffin, on the bus. We do have a bus still, but- I it, fought him. Yeah? Yeah, here's the clip. The Godzilla Gorilla versus the legend, Forrest Griffin. Forrest, you're not stepping into the octagon. You're stepping into the shaktagon. Fuck to be a rumble. Forrest Griffin's the strongest dude I ever felt in my life. Anybody else want some? He didn't tap me and I didn't ta tap him. It was a tie. But he's the strongest dude I've ever faced. He's nasty. He called me out. He said he was going to destroy me. He will. Trust me. Yeah. You might as well just call him and say, I'm sorry. But we also, we did have some Fortnite players on the bus as well. And I think some of them were saying that Fortnite is the hardest sport out there. What do you think about that? I'm not going to disagree. And I don't want to disrespect you guys, but I would have to consider it a sport. I had a show a long time ago and I, I called out some of the guys and you would think race car driving, you sit in the car and drive, that was the tiredest thing I ever did. Yeah, I raced against Dale Earnhardt Jr. And it was a small track. We did like 20 laps. That was, I've never been more tired in my life. So I don't want to say your sport is not a sport. So if the guys at Fortnite say their sport is tough, I, I would probably have to agree with them. Would you ever do celebrity boxing? Not at 50. Uh, a couple years ago, I would have. I would have fought. There was a guy out of uh, Korea, Chung Man something, seven foot four guy. I would have fought him. I probably would have fought a other couple NBA players, but not now. Not not at 50. Yeah, and like like we talked about gaming. So, do you know a streamer named? Bass in your voice, please, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah, chest out. Do you know a streamer named XQC? No. Only so recently, there was a streamer that just signed a contract for a hundred million dollars. Two years. Two year contract. Mil. Come on. A what? Two years, 100 mil for a streaming site. What's a streamer? His name's XQC. He plays uh, video games. A blonde guy. Uh, they pay him 50 million just to play video games? Just to stream on their site. Not even exclusively. All right, hold on. Break that down for people that, that, that do don't understand. Video? Yeah, sure. So, Kick is a new streaming site. Big Like Twitch. Like exactly. Okay. Big rival to Twitch now. One of the biggest streamers in the game. Trainwreck is one of the co-founders, and he's kind of like the mouthpiece for them and so when you say stream what does that mean so xqc is the guy that just got signed there it's a streaming provider so it is exactly like twitch 
except they've kind of opened up freedom of speech. That's kind of their competitive advantage. Got it. So some of the guys getting into it are a little bit more edgy, but to make a splash and get more people on the platform, they just signed XQC to stream, not even exclusively on kick, and they gave them 100 mil for two years. So, stream. so, so I could watch just, just yeah. watch and basically him play a dude at home. A dude at home on his desk who turns on his camera and people will watch him. <laughs> Which is more than LeBron's contract, I believe. Is that right? Fact checkers? Hold on. They just, nothing. What? Nothing. He's, <laughs> he's in trouble because I'm about to come after him. <laughs> yeah, you could probably get a piece of that bag. There, yeah. were, there was some skepticism that might have just been a headline grab, but that's, that's what Kick says. So he just turns the camera on and people just watch him? Yeah. Would you ever try it? Streaming? But what would I stream? Just you know, whatever I'm doing? Video you games, could, you could talking. Literally you literally watch YouTube videos. videos. Hmm, I might have to look into that. <laughs> you honestly <laughs> should. Thank you. But like, anyway. Kick, the, sign check. What's your price? Up there. 200 million. Up there. Yeah, you got a double XQC kick. Come on. I was saying like people like XQC were making like 100 million over two years. Like some gamers are now becoming like mainstream A-list celebrities. Like what are your opinions on that? Do you think they belong in that category or they don't belong? I've denounced my celebrityness about 15 years ago, but... Wish him well. My advice is to stay humble and continue to treat people with respect. And I will like you. I mean, like it's, it's, it's a different definition of celebrity, but I, I'd rather just be a regular person that shoots people with paintballs inside trailers so they can't get away. I gotta say, yeah. last year when we did the paintball clip that we just rolled a second ago, you asked us to shoot you across the street with it. And I... <laughs> I had like all of these flashes of maybe the police arresting me and me spending the rest of my life in prison. Oh, so that was you who shot me? Oh, uh, ah, no. <laughs> not him. Okay, thanks. It actually See? was. It was yeah, a nah, guy nah, that we nah, we, nah, we no longer talking. work with the guy who did it. No, but I know you guys were surprised because I know you didn't know me and you probably thought I was going to show up with a hundred people. Yeah, it's didn't true. you? Yeah, yeah, I did. And then I when know. I shook your hand, your hand just completely enveloped mine. It was pretty masculine. But congratulations to the guy that signed 100 million. I'm happy for him, and hopefully other guys can uh, gain from this opportunity and, and earn a lot of money. Like, I'm all for people just following their dreams and earning as much money and just living their life. Yeah, we, we have another one more segment. Um, this is a segment we do with every guest, and we, uh, we're going to list off a few NBA players, and you're going to give them a gamer tag. So a username or a profile name, whatever you want. What's a gamer tag? So, <laughs> like mine is my last name with numbers, but some people have like crazy. Oh, gamer ones. tag. Okay. Yeah. So like, mine's yeah. Duck for Hire. Okay. So mine would be. So mine would be Diesel Duck. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Exactly. Got it, got it. Got it. All right. So. Got it. Give these players. And his would be Know It All Dan. <laughs> <laughs> know It All Dan. All right. <laughs> and hers would be Miss B. Miss B. Thanks. Okay. Got it. All right. LeBron. King Bron. Fair enough, That's fair easy. enough. Uh, Jokic. Where's he from again? Slovakia? Yeah. Slovenia? Slovakia the... and Joker. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so that was a good one. Joker, yeah. <laughs> All right. The young kid, Victor Wembanyama. Wembanyama. He's from France. Uh, French, French Wimby. What do you think about the hype around him, by the way? Being someone who had hype coming into the league. So a lot of hype. It also can turn to a lot of pressure. I wish him well. Did have a great game and... People were already killing him, and then he had a good game. So it's so only a few people that come in right away and make an impact. I was fortunate to be one of those guys, but all the regular people takes two or three years. Like the great Kobe Bryant took him two years before he became Kobe. So it's a lot of pressure on this kid. I, I, I worry about him a little bit, but I also wish him well. Mm -hmm. uh, James Harden. Beard, but you can't see my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> um. Dylan Brooks. That's the guy from Memphis? Yeah, well, he's on the Rockets now. Okay. Indian Dill. His teammate, John ja Morant. Wow, wow, Bill Morant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then Charles Barkley. Then Charles Sean. Barkley? Fat boy. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. What, what, wait, what about the commissioner? He's a good guy, so I'm going to protect him. Silver boss. Nice. nice. That's cool. The silver, silver boss. Yeah, silver boss. Got a nice boss. ring to it. Before we break down, can you just grill Mike one more time for not speaking low? <laughs> this is Mike? Yeah. Sit down, Mike. So we, so we, so we <laughs> come, baby. Listen, I know this interview is over. Next time you speak to me, Mike, put some bass in your voice. You understand? 
Yeah. Go home, chest out, bass in your voice, okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. No, no, do it again. Yes, sir. Louder. Yes, sir. Louder. Yes, sir. Chest out. Yes, sir. Oh, that, that was the one. That was the one right there. Let's go. Right. That's the Squadcast right. with Shaquille O'Neal, baby. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of the Squadcast. This episode has been brought to you by Energizer. They've been powering our bus all the way from L.A. to Miami, so go grab some batteries.